Wilson Audio was approached at the beginning of 2018. Uh, the owner at the time of Reliable Capacitor was 81 years old, decided he was finally ready to at least semi-retire. And it was actually September 11th in 2018 was the, the official transfer of, of ownership uh, to Wilson Audio. So one of the advantages we had is that our people that we employ here at Wilson Audio, they've been dedicated to producing the finest loudspeakers in the world and have done so for decades, literally. Um, and in that comes a certain level of mindset, uh, skill set, attention to detail that was nicely transferred to be able to now apply that to a completely different type of product and yet to be able to produce that product in such a high quality fashion. Dave and I did a number of experiments, listening experiments and, and electrical experiments that looked at the transient character, the, the sonic character, just the overall aspect of capacitors. We kept coming back to the multi-cap that we're currently using. So the Audio Cap X multi-section style capacitor in reality is kind of a simple concept, but the execution of that is rather difficult. In order to make these capacitors, there are proprietary custom machines that were developed. There's only a handful of those in the world, and they're all owned by Wilson Audio Specialties. One of the exciting things about having reliable capacitors in-house is that it gives us the opportunity to explore a lot of different R&D concepts when it comes to capacitors. As we were going through the development of the XVX, Daryl asked the question, can we make it sound better? And so that became the challenge. As we were looking at different ways to enhance that, that product and make it as good as we could, obviously our attention turned toward uh, capacitors. That was a natural outgrowth of having this this ability in-house now. And so if the question is, well, I want the, the, the construction to be this particular way, we can do that. And one of the things we looked at was modifying, if you will, or experimenting with this multi-section kind of concept and idea. And it was doing those types of things and asking those what-if questions that gave us the ability to make it sound better. And what came out of that was the AudioCap X slash WA, and it is uh, proprietary and used exclusively in the XVX at this point. There's a lot of different material combinations that we have looked at and are looking at currently, and there's some exciting and new developments that are, that are underway. If I have an idea, or if Daryl has a question of something that he wants, we can make a one of. So all the knowledge that we've gained in how to produce and make some of the best loudspeakers in the world, we apply those the same kind of passion to capacitors and with the knowledge we gain from that, now it goes full circle and we can apply it back to Wilson Audio specialties and how we can improve those products. You look and ask some of these questions of, are we missing something? Can we make it better? I think it's a constant leapfrog. Technology builds upon technology. If you can't build upon technology, you're really never going to advance. So that's been uh, really fun to be able to take that and actually make some improvements over what was already a fantastic product and we've just made it even a little bit better. Well, if you actually stand back and look at the manufacture of a capacitor, it's really kind of boring. The fun and the magic comes in the interplay. So are we missing anything in making a capacitor? Sure, but the fun part of that missing is going to be finding it, finding the, the missing piece, making a capacitor sound better.